A very warm welcome to 2023. I know it's October and I know that I have been MIA for this entire year, but uh, you can see that my hair is much longer because I've been using Emacs for the past 365 days and have not slept. Uh, I've also become a father and have been spending most of my time doing that, which has been very, very cool. But the topic of this video is how I've been writing my book. I actually have taken the last year off of work and have started kind of writing my book. I'm 190 pages into it already. And I figured I haven't done a video yet about how I've been doing this. So why not? Maybe you'll get a little bit of inspiration as to how you can also write a book in Emacs. So without further ado, I'm just going to switch over to my Emacs screen and we will begin how I do. So let's actually start this from a completely clean workspace. I'm just going to do a new tab, go to my dashboard. And uh, this is my dashboard for Doom Emacs. I'm sorry to the purists, but I, I love Doom. I love how they use the space key and I love how all the hotkeys are set out for you and you just add to that configuration. It saves me so much time and um, maybe one day I'll do a vanilla Emacs install, uh, but when I have the time. <laughs> um, so I have the book in a projectile project, space PP in do Emacs. And we have the book here. It's in my server and ask me which file I want to go to. Let's just go to my mountain.org, which is the actual book itself. When I'm in there, I've uh, written this all in org mode, as you saw by the file extension. And everybody that knows about org mode is, uh, is clapping their hands, applauding right now. But it's really, truly amazing. It is. Um, the exporting ability of it is the main thing. So you'll see at the very top here, I have a couple uh, LaTeX, uh, what word am I looking for here? Um, configurations, I'll call them. But essentially what this does is formats the book when I do a export to LaTeX. And I've been doing that very, very frequently. Um, so I have that bound to uh, space YL, which is export as LaTeX and then PDF. So I'm writing this book in org mode and then I export it to LaTeX, which exports to a PDF file. And I, I'll just open up my TreeMax here and make a new window. And then I'll just go to the PDF as it is right here. And this is actually how I've been writing the book. I have the writing on the left and then I have the PDF on the right. And when I make changes, I just export them directly to that LaTeX uh, to PDF and the PDF changes. And I just make sure that all the formatting is correct while I'm writing the book. So let's go down to whereabouts are we? Da, da, da. I know it's after the intro or sorry. It is it's actually up here. What am I doing? I can just find this. What will wrong buffer? What will I find at the top? What will I find at the top? There we go. Okay. So when I am writing, you can see that I have quotes written out here and they actually format on the PDF as such. And I've actually been going back and editing everything so that it You'll see this paragraph is single lines for each sentence. The reason I do this is because you get a visual of each sentence and each sentence essentially has to stand on its own. So if a sentence is bad or if it's not impactful enough, excuse me while I exit out of my GPG thing there. Um, sorry, if the sentence is not good enough to stand on its own. It just gets cut and I move on to the next or I rewrite it. Um, I change the words. I make sure that everything is impactful because how I write is I want each sentence to be punching you in the gut. So what I've done is I actually wrote a quick macro to um, go to the period, the next period, and then just drop down and create a new pair, a uh, new line because then this reformats all my text. I go back and edit and it allows me to see each sentence for what it is. And as a side note, I've never been good at editing. I always wrote p 
papers and stuff for school last minute. I always submitted it like first draft and you can't do that with a book and I'm learning how to edit at the same time. And it's, it's, uh, it's interesting. So what I do, did here is just, um, wrote a macro that does that. It finds the period, uh, drops down and then starts a new line. And as you see here, sorry, go to the beginning. That's exactly what it does. And it just allows me to reformat all of the stuff that I previously written in paragraph form. Currently the book is 66,369 nice words. So that means that it's um, in page format about, at least in this PDF, you're not gonna be able to see this cause it's quite dark. Oh, there we go, uh, 190 pages. So 190 pages thus far. I'm still writing more and more. I want it to be about 250 when all said and done. I'm also managing it as a Git repo. So that change that I just made there, I'm just going to write it and then I'm going to add it and stage it and just make a commit. So just reformat and push that to my repo. And the reason I'm doing that is version control so I can see line by line what changes I'm making. If I like them, I just keep them. If I don't like them, I can go back and be like, I want to rewrite this. Or I've seen essentially my work on a daily basis laid out before me. It's nice to be able to see, oh, I've edited 500 lines today or whatever. So that's pretty much how I use Emacs thus far for editing. I'm totally open to suggestions if you guys have any as to make this an even better workflow. But for me right now, it's working very well. I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the org mode. It allows me to just go to whatever thing I'm going to edit, whichever thing, <laughs> whichever section of the book I wanna edit. And um, it's, it's awesome. Uh, one thing I'll say is I remember back in the day, Tim Ferriss wrote a, I think he just, actually it's the tool that he used and he uses something called Scrivener to do all of his book writing. And I kind of laughed to myself because he talks about how you can open up multiple windows in a program, you know, have um, different pages laid out, essentially how I have them on the screen. And um, it also doesn't crash every five minutes. Um, although Emacs sometimes does. Uh, but I laughed to myself because that has existed for like 40 plus years. You've had it in Emacs and uh, you've had it all. So I, I had to laugh to myself about it. Other than that, um, that's pretty much how I've been writing the book. It's gonna be out on November 9th. So feel free to pre-order it. You can actually just shoot me an email and I will send you the preface uh, because I think that's uh, a good foray into what the book is about. It's a, a story of my life a little bit and um, it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be iterated upon too. So it's when it's released, that's not the end all be all. I'm going to have a V 1.0, then 2.0. Uh, as people ask me to elaborate more on things, Hey Josh, talk more about this. Um, what do you mean by this? And it's going to be continually iterated upon until it's a finished project, which I don't really ever think it is because it's a story of kind of my, my journey. And that journey is not ended. I'm not dead yet. So. Uh, I will be making more videos. I have a lot more time now and I do miss it. So look out for that. And thank you very much for watching this one. We will catch you in the next one.